the past couple of days have been an interesting one because I'm not sure if some of you've noticed through the power of my 720p webcam. If you're watching it via YouTube, you may have seen it. Maybe you haven't. But I've definitely been taking up more of my skin. Well, I've been taking my skincare a lot more, a lot more seriously in these last couple of days or last couple of weeks, actually. Um, I bought a whole set of stuff. Like, I think most people do this, right? You end up doing a bit of a, you know, you end up going down weird YouTube rabbit holes and you usually end up on some weird page where like you maybe, I think I end up on looks maxing thing. But I think I finally started it through like, you know, looking at Korean facial skincare type of stuff. And you just end up going this weird rabbit hole, right? To the point where you start maybe end up to the looks maxing thing. So I ended up doing that. And then one late night, I ended up buying a lot of stuff for my skincare routine on Amazon. But like a guy, I just bought it and then put it in my cupboard and never looked at it again. So I had all this stuff in my cupboard that I never actually knew I had that was, you know, basically a whole kit of stuff. So then the other day I was thinking, oh, let me just start it or the other week. Let me start doing it and start taking it seriously, start doing it in the morning, start doing it before I go to sleep. And then I was um, looking at another video again, because, you know, you got to double check your videos and just trying to make sure that I've got everything. And then when I was looking at my cupboard, I was like, oh, shit, I actually did buy everything. Like I was trying to buy more stuff to add to stuff I already have. But when I checked the cupboard, I realized I actually bought all the stuff before, but I just didn't open it. So a big palm to face moment there for me. But I did end up doing it for a few weeks. You know, it's been a bit spotty. So there's been a couple of days I've missed it. But, you know, I've been somewhat consistent with it over the last couple of weeks. And I have to be honest, like, you can't really see if you're the flipping camera, probably, because the quality isn't the greatest. I'm trying my best with the lighting and shit. And obviously, I'll upgrade it sooner rather than later when I start, you know, putting more money into stuff. But so far, if you can look at the flipping cam, my skin's actually looking pretty good. Like, I'm don't get me wrong. It's never looked crazy bad. But it definitely has helped it like you know i don't think i'm i think i was one of those people that because i just naturally have just because of the you know the luck of my fucking genetics and my parents you know god bless them for giving birth to me because i just you know ended up with good skin it's not really nothing that i kind of chose but then i just took it for granted so i thought you know what instead of taking it for granted why not just you know take care of the thing that you have that most people would kind of die for which is you know generally decent enough skin um, even though I had flipping expo when I was younger and stuff, it hasn't really affected me too much in my older age. So I've been using it and doing the skincare quite regularly. And I have to be honest, like it's not too bad. I understand people do it now. Apart from the obvious vanity of it, right? And you end up kind of looking a bit better. Your skincare, your, your sorry, your face looks, you know, you had that kind of glassy effect on your face, sometimes shiny and you just look more youthful and whatever it may be. Apart from all that, one thing that I've noticed that's really cool about it is just the the somewhat weird mentally mental health clarity calming side of things this routine that you do in the morning in the evenings um and it kind of reminds me of running or it kind of reminds you of going to the gym you might not want to go um in the mornings or in the evenings but then you end up you know obviously trying to you know just clenching your teeth and going anyway and then the warm-up maybe is a bit is a bit hard you're a bit tight you're a bit you know tired but as soon as you get into the workout 10 minutes later you're really happy that you made the decision to go and i think the same thing happens with my kind of skincare routine i start i'm like oh here we go again cleanser exfoliator toner um serum moisturizer sunscreen all this whatever right you're fucking oh, here we go again but when you end up doing it you're like oh man i'm so happy i did do it like you take you know again we don't really i know for myself anyway i don't really pamper myself much i just kind of get on with things i'm just a typical man in that regard ball up all my emotions don't really pamper myself just kind of grit my teeth and kind of bear through it so having an opportunity to sort of like pamper myself and treat myself like a fucking quote-unquote princess it's actually quite nice i get it i completely get why ladies out there kind of love these uh, and you know moments where they can just unwind at home you know put a whole face mask on and just do nothing i mean scented candles I mean, imagine if i went the whole way i did the whole scented candles i got some good lighting i I'd got some leds i dimmed the light in maybe some nice curtains maybe some good jazz playing in the background all that stuff kind of adds and it kind of really does help especially living in this living you know bad vibe city that i live in in london all those things can actually help to kind of somewhat bolster your mood and you know make you <laughs> somewhat happy considering all the flipping crap shit that's happening daily so that's been a pretty decent thing so i've been 